Hello, my friends, and welcome to Garbology, where we're going to be studying the science of garbage. That's right. We're going to be investigating what makes up garbage and why it's so important. But first, what do you think of when you think of garbage? I bet you think of things that are smelly or gross or wet. And those are certainly true, but there's so much more to garbage than meets the eye. Let's dive in. Everyone makes trash, and that's okay, but there's a right place to put our trash and a wrong place to put our trash. Now, a lot of this trash might seem familiar to you, and you might actually use it every day, but I think you're wondering why I'm wearing a lot of that trash myself. Well, each of these pieces of trash should seem familiar to you. This is trash that we use every day. This is what it looks like when you wear the trash you use. Let's see what happens when we throw this trash on the street. Take a look at this picture. Is this the right place for your trash? No, I don't think so. How do you think all of that trash got onto the beach? Well, when you litter and throw your trash on the road, the rain will carry it to the streams and rivers and then to the bay and the ocean. Let's check out another picture. Does this piece of trash look familiar to you? That's right. It's a soda can ring that holds multiple cans or bottles together. When we don't cut the plastic rings and make sure these end up in the trash, small turtles can get caught in them. As the turtle grows, the plastic ring stays strong and deforms the turtle's growing shell just like this one. Unfortunately, this turtle can no longer survive in the ocean and now lives in a nature sanctuary. Let's look at another example. Does this piece of trash look familiar to you? Yep, right again. This is a plastic bag that is used by people every day. Trash bags are easily caught in the wind, even if they are placed in a trash can. Since trash bags can move so easily in the air, we tend to see not only marine animals, but also animals that live above water being negatively affected by our trash. Now, let's see what happens when we put our waste in the waste bin. The custodians take it to the trash dumpster, and from there, the garbage trucks pick it up and take the trash to a place called a landfill, which is basically a big hole in the ground. The landfill gets filled with trash. It can get so full of trash, it looks like a mountain of trash. Is the landfill the right place for our trash? Well, it's an okay place for our trash, but it's certainly not ideal. It often smells and takes up a lot of space. In fact, all of the waste that Marilyn uses gets turned into energy. Often, the garbage truck takes the trash to a place called a waste to energy plant instead of a landfill. Look at this photo. This place is where our trash gets burned, so it doesn't smell and take up space. When you burn trash, a lot of heat and gases come out, so you have to be very careful but we also get a lot of energy from that. Is the waste to energy plant the right place for our trash? Well, it's an okay place for our trash, but if we didn't have landfills and didn't need to use waste to energy plants, we could be using these places for so many better things. Sadly, this is what happens when we use these items every single day and they end up in the wrong place. However, you can do something to make sure that doesn't happen. Instead of throwing our trash on the ground or in the trash bin, a lot of that trash can actually be recycled, where it can be used again and turned into more things. But what is recycling? Recycling is when we create something new and useful from the waste that we would be throwing away. So instead of putting it into the black bin that you see right here. Instead, 
we can put it into this blue recycling bin. From this blue recycling bin, it goes to the recycling facility where it uses all those materials that we've thrown away and turns it into something new instead of going to the landfill. All these items were made from recycled material. Isn't that amazing? In fact, this fleece glove and this carpet are made from plastic. They use the plastic fibers called nylon and polyester to create these items that we see and use every day. While we can recycle items and they get sent to the recycling facility to be turned into new and useful items, some people are very creative and they can turn that trash into art. Do any of these items look familiar to you? Yeah, that's right. These items are made from Kool-Aid and Capri Sun pouches. How amazing is it that people have created useful items out of trash that can't be recycled and would have ended up in the landfill. While these bags are pretty cool, other pieces of trash like rubber from tires can also be turned into something useful like this wallet. And even more amazingly, you can turn a Coke can into this amazing iguana creature that is truly a piece of art. Now that we've seen what we can do with recyclable and even non-recyclable items, let's see what we can recycle in your home. Do you think that we can recycle cardboard, such as from an egg carton or a Crayola box? Yes, we can. Cardboard is made out of paper and we can recycle paper which can be turned into more paper or cardboard in this instance. So cardboard and paper can go into our blue recycling bin. What about plastic? So we have a water bottle here and we have a lime juice container here. We can recycle both of these. However, they need to be hard plastics in order to recycle them. So I can't really squish this lime juice and I can squish this, but it's kind of difficult to squish it. So, and it's also bigger than two inches by two inches, which is the size that we want in order to recycle plastic. So we can recycle both plastic water bottles and containers like this lime juice. So these can both go into our blue uh, recycling bin. Now let's look at another piece of plastic. Let's look at this plastic bag. Can this plastic bag be recycled? Well, it's certainly big, bigger than two inches by two inches, but you can easily squish this in your hand. So unfortunately, we cannot recycle this. If this went into the recycling bin and it went into the recycling facility, it would get jammed up in the processes that are going on in the recycling facility and it would actually harm uh, the recyclables that are currently being processed. So we actually need to throw this away in the trash. How about this small piece of plastic, this candy wrapper? Can we recycle this candy wrapper? No, you're right, we cannot recycle this candy wrapper. It's smaller than two by two inches and we can uh, squish it in our hand. So unfortunately, we need to throw this in the trash. What about this potato chip bag? Can we recycle this potato chip bag? You're right, I just squished it in my hand, so I cannot uh, put it into the recycling bin. It's made out of plastic and I can squish it in my hand. It is bigger than uh, two by two inches, but remember about that uh, being able to squish it in your hand. So this has to go into the trash bin. What about this plastic straw? Can we recycle this plastic straw? Yep, you're right, we can't actually. We cannot recycle this plastic straw. 
while it's longer than two inches, it's still very skinny and it's easily crushable. So this would fall through uh, the grates that are at the recycling facility and it would have to ultimately be thrown away. Now, what about this yogurt cup? Could we recycle this plastic yogurt cup? You're right, we can. I can't squish it in my hand very easily and it's bigger than two inches by two inches. So we can recycle this into the recycling bin as long as it's clean and empty. Now, what about this metal can? Can we recycle this metal can? Yeah, you're right, we can recycle this metal can. Metal can be recycled and turned into more metal to be used for lots of different things, including making uh, soda cans. So we're gonna put this right here in the blue recycling bin. Now for our last item, what about this styrofoam? Styrofoam is generally used for shipping, it can be used for food containers and lots of other things, and it's quite durable. But can we recycle it? No, unfortunately we can't recycle it. Uh, because the chemicals that are used to create it, it can't be recycled. And in fact, it actually will never degrade. It will never break down and turn into soil uh, to be used again. It will stay just like this in this form for hundreds of thousands of years. It's quite sad, unfortunately. And we have to throw this away. So, to summarize, we want to make sure that we're only putting in hard plastics that are bigger than two inches by two inches in the blue recycling bin, as well as metals and paper and cardboard, and even glass can be put into our blue recycling bin, as long as that glass is whole and not broken. And we need to remember that the trash bin is only for our smaller items, such as the small plastics like bottle caps and forks and wrinkly plastics that'll jam up the recycling machines. There's a lot going on in the world right now, but there's one thing that I want you to remember. If we put our trash in the wrong place, it'll harm nature. But if we put our trash in the right place, we can take care of our planet and take care of nature. That's it for now, but I hope that you'll continue with me on this journey where we continue to explore Garbology.